everyone welcome to Artishels Art World this is Shilpa aka Artishels from www.artishels.com and in today's video we are going to paint this journal page together you and me together which is not only beautiful but it even has a beautiful message in the end so to know the beautiful message and uh, to learn all the techniques that I have to give away in this journal page do stay tuned till the end and have a lot of fun so before taking any more of your time let's get started and dive in to see how this how all this turns out to be so uh, before I start any journal page I always start by covering the entire page with a layer one or maybe even two layers of gesso so what gesso does it makes the page very very smooth and very very easy to work with with any medium right from acrylic to crayons whatever you want to put on your journal page it becomes very easy and smooth to work on and it it even makes makes the paper very strong to hold all the techniques, all the heavy techniques that we would like to throw on our journal. So this is the reason I cover the entire thing with gesso. So over here I am first dropping some green and some purple on the page and then I did spread, uh, the, uh, spread the colors using my fingers and then I added some yellow and again spread the colors with my fingers. And uh, the layer of these colors was a bit thick so I used my hair dryer uh, to dry the entire thing before I move on to the next step. Next I took some Tim Holtz distressed ink and uh, I applied that ink directly from the ink pad on the sides not on the corners but on the sides to give some rough texture you know as if uh, this uh, paper was just thrown in the mud you know because some some that kind of the, uh, texture some muddy texture so next i uh, took a card as you can see and i applied white paint on the side and just you know i was sliding the card over the paper and it got some beautiful amazing texture but you know the background that we have crea created over here is a bit in your face kind of like you know the white and the white is looking very bright and all that so to make the whole background a bit subtle what i am doing over here i took a light blue acrylic paint and i uh, added a lot of water in that acrylic paint you know making that uh, paint very watery and i applied a transparent layer on the entire page and then I rubbed a rough cloth over the page taking off the light blue paint from it away a bit so you know it not only made the page a bit dull but uh, the entire effect I think is looking all the more beautiful next you know to make the whole page the entire page you know look one I added some green on the sides of the journal page as you can see now after the incomplete background is dried off with the hair dryer what I do is I take a permanent marker and decide to do decided to doodle a bit around on my journal page so over here I am making a little peacock very very easy very uh, stylized little peacock and some stylized little leaves and flowers around that peacock the peacock is like sitting in one car corner and the rest of uh, the corner and rest of the part of the journal is uh, covered with little stylized doodles of leaves and flowers and this i am doing with a thick permanent marker the marker that we use to write on the cds or anywhere we want a permanent marking so that is the permanent marker that is a cheap permanent marker i am using over here to make all my doodles I take a designer paper and this designer paper has a lot of flowers over here and I cut all those flowers as you can see I'm cutting all those flowers and then after I'm done with the cuttings of my flowers I will uh, try and arrange those flowers on my journal in such a way that they look uh, really beautiful around my own doodles my own permanent marker doodles and using a glue I stick them wherever I had arranged 
reached them and these flowers looking so beautiful the way they are over here on top of the doodles next i take some yellow color and you know with just one layer of yellow i paint a bit around the flowers as if you know i just wanted to make the uh, flowers look as if they had some shining of their own you know they had some uh, light and power of their own and you know uh, to give their own highlight you know just to that for that i uh, just add a bit transparent yellow around the flowers next i had this stencil of uh, butterfly uh, that my son got uh, from one of his toys so i just had that butterfly and with the help of a knife i applied thick paint over the butterfly stencil and uh, came up with two butterflies one on the left side using the dark blue and the light blue paint and one on the right side just using you know the light blues and pinks and uh, the dark blues and I really loved the way they are looking over our flowers and the peacock you know I love the way they came out to be and I love the thickness of them that you cannot see over here but I can actually feel that in my journal so after making sure you know all my butterflies are dried I uh, decided to go ahead with the next step of our journal the next step I just take my uh, signal white gel pen which is so soft and so amazing and works on any surface uh, any mixed media surface uh, that we have and so I take that gel pen and what I do is I start uh, doodling with it around the entire thing uh, first I start by doodling around the peacock as you can see and what this doodle is doing is uh, this is really highlighting the entire peacock in such a beautiful way I really like the way it turned out to be after my white doodles and uh, in between I just took my black permanent marker once again and I outlined all the flowers with it to make the flowers stand out a bit more before i uh, give them an outline with my white gel pen as well next i use the same permanent marker the thick marker that we used to uh, make our doodles and using the same marker i outline the butterflies as well and then coming back with my white signo gel pen i add once again so many doodles on the butterfly to make it look all the more pretty all the more beautiful because that is what we want to do we want to make our journal page in the easiest ways possible to look all the more fun and beautiful right because you know i think our journals is our kind of play zone you know we don't have to worry about things like uh, uh, what what I do in paintings like you know composition colors and themes and whatever you know my journal is actually uh, my real real play zone you know where I really don't care about anything else you know I don't think about anything else all I want to do is you know just throw things the way I want you know paint the way I want and uh, there should be no composition rules no color rules nothing nothing at all I don't care if it looks beautiful or not the main purpose purpose of my journal is uh, just having fun you know having a lot of fun uh, breaking rules and uh, discovering new styles new techniques you know new methods which I can use in my paintings you know that is uh, the freedom of this journal is one thing that I absolutely love and that is why I keep coming back to my journaling and I keep sharing them with you so for me that is the main purpose of keeping a journal so you know don't you think with these white doodles all around the butterfly the peacock and you know with the white outlines around, around the flowers this journal page has turned out to be so beautiful next I take some washi tape and I decide to add some words around and I choose some really 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 simple words and these words are happiness is flowers and butterflies this these words that happiness is flowers and butterflies this is a reminder for myself as well that you know go in for your dreams and your goals but don't forget this as well that happiness remains in little things happiness remains in small uh, things in life you know happiness is in things like flowers and butterflies the simple pleasures of life the simple things of life so you know no matter how big your dreams are or no matter how big your goals are just run behind them just go for them but 
be happy uh, with the present in your life be happy with the simple things around you be happy with the simple moments around you and capture them and treasure them so you know that is the whole message behind this uh, journal page which says happiness is flowers and butterflies and i'm so very pleased with the beautiful result that is at the end because it is not the way how my journal page looked in the end but it this page is more about you know how much fun i had in this and the message it has given to me that you know happiness lies in small things so i really hope you enjoyed this journal page and uh, if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do let me know in the comments below what do you think about the message did you enjoy it do you think it's uh, what i said was uh, right or it was okay or not what do you think about it i am really curious to know your thoughts as well and if you do try this journal page at home don't forget to share it with me on my instagram facebook twitter or you can email me your work at the contact page on my website so i hope you had fun with me so till i see you next time bye and happy creating bye